Uh, hello guys, this is Sox. We're going to bring you another mission editor tutorial. This is going to be about triggers and the mission editor. This is the wiki page. And uh, basically everything that you need to know about the original editor is in here, except scripts and shit. This is just, you can see here, uh, units. Uh, this is also made for, this is made of armor 1. Oh, it's all. <laughs> it's written down. Armor 1, Cold War Assault, Armor, Armor 2. This is one we're looking at, and then take on helicopters. But, um, main thing here, main conditions, the main article for triggers. Thing someone asked is, switch. What does? Trigger, where is the switch there? Type. That is the different types you can use in triggers. And basically, it's all defined here. Uh, guarded by side triggers center point with the final point of, to be guarded. So the trigger, the center of the trigger, will be some something to guard. And if you put a unit to guard mode, they will guard that object. Or if it's linked, group linked, that means if you group the trigger to an object, that thing will be guarded, and um, the AI will well send out teams to defend it. And, um, what else? Here, here's the switch. A switch trigger is very useful for breaking up a group out of cycle waypoints, hold, or guard waypoints. So, basically, it's, set, uh, it's exactly what it says. When the trigger is synchronized with a waypoint, activating the trigger will instantly change the group's current waypoint to the first waypoint after the synchronized one. And then note that the synchronized waypoint, blah, blah, just bullshit. Uh, so basically, the uh, switch just removes uh, cycle waypoints and hold and guard waypoints. So if you want to have a patrol to react to one's movement, you might place, say, a, a chain of waypoints for a group. And um, they are just patrolling around the town. So we'll say, and then you have four waypoints and then a cycle in between. That way they always go around there until the end of the world. And basically, now you can't, without trios, you can't really use those units because they're on cycle. And they'll never change unless you use a switch. So if you have, after the cycle, you have a search and, search and destroy in a, say, placement radius of uh, 200 um, on that town. Uh, you might use a trigger then. For maybe the player is in this area, they're gonna start searching, uh, search and destroying, and uh, basically just look for the player. And um, then you synchronize that and use it as a switch on the cycle one. Basically, that removes the cycle, and the the group of units will then go for search and destroy. So basically, it just removes the hold, guard, or cycle waypoints and the loops of that. It creates hold this kind of a loop. Um, it just stay there guard is the same just um, trying to defend if you want to want the guys to guarding defending a um a trigger or a object uh you just synchronize and remove that and they can i don't know fall back retreat whatever um the other types are well none of course uh lose and end end which uses different types of um six different winning endings and that's basically just different debriefs and lose just that you fail the mission and that's basically it I mean um, everything is written here I'll post a link to this site and the um, mission editor and basically that's everything about the switch and you know it triggers can be used with more stuff you can use <laughs> object resource text effects and all that so uh, it's a lot of stuff to be implemented in just one trigger and um, of course the scripts are very handy um, here now I can find out myself these counters are under degrees of randomness to a trigger blah 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 countdown and timeout counters countdown in this triggers are met the trigger will wait to the specific amount before activating the triggers condition must be met for the duration of the specific amount of time. Okay, so <laughs> that's the. Well, basically, I just learned by reading this. I have never 
really understood the reason between countdown and time. I always seem to do the same thing. But um Okay, da boom, okay. That's nothing more to tell you about triggers. And um I don't know, maybe this is a bit advanced into the in depth with triggers, but uh all in all it's just nothing special about it. And um yeah, there's not much to tell you. If you have anything, actually, just if you have questions, just look through this this site here. And um, if that doesn't um, answer your questions, just uh, write a comment and I'll uh, look into it. Um, other than that, that should be it for this video. Yeah, please like it, share, subscribe, whatever, and nothing. Uh,